Hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory to God. I greet you all, my brothers and sisters in Christ. This is your brother, Brother Glenn. Or you can call me Mr. Glenn. I bring to you good tidings from the Lord once again. As you listen, may you be blessed. In Yeshua's name, amen. I will try to be audible enough because I do hear complaints. I will speak louder. I do hear complaints in my past videos that I'm not audible enough. So I'll try as much as possible to speak louder. Hallelujah. Believers in Christ, I bring to you what the Lord told me yesterday. I think yesterday I was at work. I was at work minding my business. Because usually when I'm at work, when the period of fasting and prayer, I still fast along. There is a way you can do fasting and you are praying at work. Is that is possible? Some people said it's not possible, but it's possible. While you are walking at the place of work, you pray. There's what they call silent prayer. You commune with the Lord inside you. People might notice you are not speaking out. Who focuses on you will notice. Sorry, a call came in. Whoever that is focused on you will notice that you are praying silent prayer. But while everybody is minding their business, nobody will know you are communing with the Lord at your own quiet time while you are at work. So I was praying while I was, uh, while I was at work, communing with the Lord. And the Lord spoke to me. It's a confirmation. He gave me a vision three days ago. But he confirmed it to me audibly yesterday. The Lord spoke to me, told me, Double restoration is ahead. Double. Sorry. Sorry, a call came, uh, came in again. The same person kept calling. God will help me. I will have a second phone so that I will have a separate phone for my hotline and then a second line that I will use on another phone. I will be using another phone for video. So I was at work communing with the Lord. At the peak of the day, and the Lord spoke to me, double restoration ahead is ahead. Because I've been asking of uh, confirmation of the vision the Lord showed me three days ago. I was in a vision. There is a state here in my country, Nigeria, that I visited before. Hmm? There is a state in my country we visited before, years ago, for family deliverance, family deliverance program. I was there in that state again, 2017. And while I was minding my business, coming with the Lord, I went to bed, and the Lord showed me in a vision. The last time I went to that state, permit me not to mention the name, the state was very underdeveloped. There are no e electricity. Their roads, their make their roads are not tied. We have footpath road within the community, within the village. And then their major road is untied. Very underdeveloped state, underdeveloped community that we went to. I never 2017, I went there last. I visited there last. And the Lord opened my eyes. And I saw, the, I saw myself in the same state. There are roads, in fact, even streets. Hmm? Streets were tired. Major road were tired. A street leading to any building is tired. And I marvel in the dream or in the vision. And I marvel, asking, the, asking myself in the dream that what happened when the development come to this? 
community this way? When did the government remember it has never happened in Nigeria? Development should be a gradual thing in any community our government wants to develop. At a gradual, very little pace. I was asking myself, how come this place becomes so developed suddenly? And the Lord spoke to me. This is how it will be in the crypto verse. And I was asking the Lord. I was praying for confirmation before I put out a video. And he spoke to me yesterday afternoon. That double restoration ahead. Double restoration ahead. So I beseech you, brethren, if you have invested in different businesses, not only cryptocurrency, I tell you categorically, the Lord said, because when my God speak to me, he's not speaking to me alone. I know how I pray, requesting, before he speaks to me. If you are involved in any business, apart from cryptocurrency, double restoration ahead. I am a crypto investor. And John's my, minding my business. I'm an electrical, in, uh, electrical technician and a solar engineer, or we call it solar installer. The only business I invest in that he told me, as I was prophesying on years ago, he told me that in cryptocurrency, that prophecy will come to pass regarding you, regarding me. He said double restoration ahead. So if you have invested in any business, as I stand in the gap on daily basis for you, my brothers and sisters in Christ, the Lord said I should tell you, double restoration is ahead of you and if you are also if you have only cryptocurrency as your business as your investment the lord said i should tell you double restoration is ahead hallelujah you see believers when when i talk this way on my on my on this youtube channel that the Lord spoke to me. You see why I can never get discouraged when I said the Lord spoke to me. You see why I can never get discouraged. On daily basis, on my day-to-day -day activities, he will speak to me and I will see it come to pass. Should I begin to mention? Let me just name but a few. On day-to-day, -day, the Lord will speak to me and I will see it come to pass. And when I disobey, I will regret Let me use, on different aspects, the Lord speak to me. Yes. Because believers, I tell you, if you hear, if you are, if you are, if, if you, if you normally hear from the Lord, try and obey immediately. If you disobey one, twice, thrice, and you continue to disobey, shortly thereafter, the Spirit of the Lord will stop speaking to you. Yes, I'm talking from experience. But even with little unimportant things, that the Lord will speak to you about. If you are a hearer, I'm speaking to those of us who are a hearer here, or a visionary, or a seer. Whatever the Spirit of the Lord speaks to you and you recognize His voice, do it immediately. Don't use, I forgot as an excuse. I'm talking from experience. Do you see? Um, hallelujah. Okay, let me name a few examples on, on my day-to-day -day activities with the Lord, apart from cryptocurrency. I will talk about where he speaks to me, about giving, about support, and, to my, and on my day-to-day -day activities. In order to help your faith, in order to help you build your faith, if you are also believing in the Lord, to start hearing. Let me speak on some unimportant, let me use the word, is it foolish? No, 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 not foolish. Unimportant matter. <laughs> Unimportant matters. The Spirit of the Lord will speak to me. Permit me to use the word. Unimportant matters. Okay, on my day-to-day -day activities. Okay, I remember vividly. The month of December. Last month, December 2023. 
I I have my mother is still alive. My father is dead. My father died 2017 December. My father had us the Lord bless him with eight children. We are seven boys and a and a girl, seven men and one woman. That is seven sons and one daughter. Every one of us, we are still alive because my father repented 1999 and he brought us to Christ. 1999, he repented. My father was a conk voodoo man. He's from a voodoo family. He, here we call it juju. They are idol worshiper, but he repented 1999 and he brought us with the children to Christ. So I have lost him. He died 2017, December. December, December, December 17th, December 17th, 2017, my father died. I lost my father. So our mother is still alive. To make this video short, let me, let me summarize. I will give several testimonies how the Lord deal with me on daily basis. Few, I cannot name it all. I normally visit my mother four times in a month. I will go to her, to her place. We call it family house. I normally see her, visit her, four times in a week. If I'm very busy, twice, sorry, 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 four times in a month. Four times in a month. If I am very, very busy, she might see me two times. I will visit her two times in a month. And when I visit my mother, we'll just get talking and talking. I will discover she doesn't want me to go. I don't know whether she's lonely. I can't tell. But we will talk the Lord. She will talk, you know, when your mother communicates with you, you will feel that she has missed you. That is why I take it upon myself. I'm a busy person, but I do visit her four times in a month. Once a week. Once a week. If I am too busy in that particular month, twice a month. And my mother normally visits me twice a month. She also visits, but twice a month. My birthday in June and then in December. Unless if it is a case of emergency, we can see her suddenly. But aside that, twice a month, my mother will visit me. Like twice a year or once in a year, she will visit me. So she visited me. She visited me in December. She came. She, I, don't, I never knew she invited her other children. So they came to my house. Four of my siblings was with my mother and their wives. No, two, um, one was with the wife, the other three without their wives. And they came visiting with my mother as their elder brother. So we entertained them, I entertained them and we got talking, me, my wife, my mother, and three of my siblings and one of the wife. While we're talking in my living parlor, my living room, living parlor, we call it parlor, sitting room. As we were talking, my wife was sitting by my side, left-hand side. And there, there is a cabinet. I have my MP3, MP3 player, music box. I have an MP3 player, music player to amplify. I normally connect this to my phone when I'm at site listening to preaching while I was working. I will connect my Bluetooth to this MP3 box. So that it will amplify the volume, I will listen to message, preaching from, I have some good preachers uh, online. They are my favorite preachers, about four of them that I listen to any of their message. So that is why I bought this music MP3 player. So my MP3 player was on that box. And my wife was sitting beside me. We are seated on the floor. So... Spirit, while we, we get talking, Spirit of the Lord spoke to me. Remove your MP3 player box. Drop it on the floor because it was on, on, on a cabinet box. Spirit of the Lord spoke to me. I should remove my MP3 and drop it on the floor because your wife will fall it. Your wife might, you know, rest on the box and the MP3 music player will fall and it might got, got broken. I had it. But I, I got... 
I just look at the, um, the voice. On him, it's not important. And I got carried away while I saw my family member. I was happy. We got talking, and I disobeyed. It's not up to. It's not up to one minute. One minute is far. It's some few seconds. And my wife, they talked about a joke, and my wife was laughing and rest upon that. That um, cabinet and my music box fell heavily on the floor. I, I, I picked the music box and I, I told them that the Lord just, the Lord spoke to me a few seconds ago that I should drop this music box and I disobeyed. And you see what happened? It happens a few seconds later. And one of my siblings told me that, ask God for forgiveness. That my sibling, that my younger brother gave me a word of wisdom that day. He told me, he said, brother, if the Lord speaks to you pertaining to an even unimportant thing, you just disobeyed. Ask for forgiveness so that you keep hearing. I never knew this before. Because the Spirit of the Lord will speak to me of some unimportant thing. I will tell myself, I will do it, I will do it later. And I will regret not obeying instantly for unimportant thing. But for things that is important, I obey first before I start thinking. But I saw it as dropping the music box. I, will, I just got carried away. And it happened, it fell. But it didn't break. I thought it has broken, but it didn't break. To the glory of God. That is one. You see, unimportant thing, the Lord will speak and it will happen. That day when I told them my mother was looking, it was just one of my siblings that encouraged or advised me that ask God for forgiveness because you just you just disobeyed. And that was a lesson for me. It's a word of wisdom. Because several unimportant things, the Spirit of the Lord will speak to me about. I would, I, would, I would say to myself, I'm busy, I'll do it later because it's unimportant to me. But my brother said, nothing is unimportant. When the Lord speaks to you, obey immediately. Don't focus on the important things alone. I learned from my younger brother that day. Can I say another one? My mother did not say anything that day. Years ago, I've been telling them, the Lord said this in my family. The Lord said that. The Lord said this. The Lord said we should have three days fasting and prayer regarding this. The Lord said that because we have WhatsApp, WhatsApp group as one mother children. Eight children from one mother. We have WhatsApp group where we encourage each other. We talk to each other on daily basis. I normally tell them, the Lord said, the Lord said regarding this. My mother never behaves as if I hear from the Lord. Even Jesus Christ of Nazareth was not recognized in his hometown. The Bible made us understand that he did little mi uh, less miracle. And Jesus Christ marveled on, the, on his people's unbelief. Yes, that is what the Bible told us. When he, went, when he went about preaching the gospel in Samaritan and in some other places, he wrought wonders in miracles. So I have been watching my mother. For long, I've been telling them, the Lord said, do, let's do this, let's do that. My mother didn't believe. But let me give you a testimony. My mother confessed and said, truly, today I believe the Lord is speaking to you. Hallelujah. The video might be long, please. I'm coming to cryptocurrency. Don't skip so that you can learn. Don't let us focus on cryptocurrency alone. I have a word, the Lord is a vision about XDC. As you listen, may you be blessed. I just want to clear doubt on some people who we message and said, none of your I am not a prophet. I I, I used to say it. I'm just a believer in Christ, like you who have personal relationship in Christ, who hear from the Lord and who see visions and dreams. When I gave my life to Christ years ago, I tested the Lord. I said, this Christ I believe in. I, I used to test God. They said, don't test God, but I test God when I gave my life to Christ. I remember my third child is, I think he's going to 12 years now. He, 11 years ago, I am diverting now. I'm digressing now from the topic. Oh, my God. Please listen, believers. When I came to, to Christ, 
I said, this Christ, this God, they are saying Jesus Christ. I must, before I believe, I must see him. When I speak, let him hear. They said he's an invisible God, right? Right? He's an invisible father, the unseen God. Who you will see him do things visibly and he is invisible. But when he asks, you will see him do that invisibly. I used to test God when I first gave my life to Christ 12 years ago. There is a woman in my street where I was living back then. This woman is a, this woman is confirmed. She's a witch. If the woman tell you, you will see. You, you will see. And she did like this for you. You, you will see. You will be in trouble. We used to call that woman, Iyai Laje. The Nigerians here on my channel, they understand what I mean by Iyai Laje. That's what we normally call him. Woman from Ilaje. They call these people Ilaje people. They are from the Ondo state of Nigeria. We know, everybody knows this woman as a witch. And this woman sell alcoholic drink early in the morning. You see youth, jobless youth. They will stand, they will sit on benches outside drinking themselves to stupor. A witch selling alcoholism, polluting the life of youths in the community. And then I was just a baby in Christ. After prayers overnight, I told the Lord, I told you people about this prayer point I normally pray. Father, may I be your presence carrier. Lord Jesus, may I be your presence carrier. Wherever I appear, wherever I appear, let my presence command peace and authority in Christ. I've been praying this prayer point for long. Nobody give me the prayer point. It was the Holy Spirit. I prayed overnight and I told the Lord. They said, we believers, if you are a believer in Christ, you give your life to Christ. In the spiritual, people who have spiritual eyes, maybe in the occultic kingdom, the witchcraft, when they see you, a man of God preach this. They said, when they see you, a true believer, they see fire, they see light. Is that not? I had that preach, preaching long ago. And I told the Lord, I am going to meet this woman I have prayed overnight. I want this woman to see your presence in me. And I prayed this prayer overnight. And early in the morning, I didn't go to work that day. I was a paid employee then. I went to a shop. I was praying along the way. I was blasting in tongue, going. I told the Lord, prove to me. I want this woman to see your presence. I, since I said I want to be your presence carrier, Lord, let this woman see your presence in me. And I was a baby Christian. I said, I want to test this God, whether what they teach me about this Jesus Christ, <laughs> whether it is true about this Jesus Christ. And lo and behold, brothers, this woman is a woman feared by every everybody, both the children, the adult, they fear this particular woman. Everybody avoid her. They don't want to have a problem with her. Because if you do, she will deal with you and you will see it manifest from the spiritual and it will manifest physically. Either kill your child or anything, cause havoc in your home, calamities, disaster in your home. And I told the Lord, I am going to see this woman eye to eye. May this woman see, see your presence in me. I want to see her terrified by the presence of the Lord in me. If truly you are this Christ and you exist, that is how I've been testing the Lord at my early stage in Christ. You don't just, they don't just preach something to you. This is, a, this is God, Almighty God. And you did not test this God. This God, they said, is not Almighty God. Somebody will preach to you and you accept, you become born again. And you didn't test this God so that you can believe in this God to see him perform wonders or to show his presence visibly. No, but I tested the Lord and I said, no, I will serve this God. And I went to the shop of this woman, to a store. She has a store, very scanty store, selling provisions. And then alcoholic drink, local alcoholic drink, where you see youths sitting, drinking themselves to stupor. And I came to the shop. I looked directly to the eyes of the woman. I, I looked at her directly in the eyes. And she hid her face. Yes, she dodged her face. We made eye-to-eye -eye contact. And believers, she hide her face. She was unable to speak, to even ask me, what do you want? 
and I speak, I said, I want to buy matches. I was seeing matches on the shelves, matches, I don't know, matches, matches that we used to slash light to light a gas. I told her, Yalaje, I want to buy matches. You know what this woman told me? She started panicking. She said, she was speaking her dialect. Matches to Sinibu, matches to Sinibu, matches to Sinibu. She was, when I take a step, the shop, you will take like three steps before you get to the, the veranda of the shop. It was a low, a low ground. And then the shop was a little bit higher. So I took a step. She stepped backward. There is no matches here. There is no matches here. I said, is that no matches on the shelf I'm seeing? Yalaje. I mentioned her name, Yalaje. This is matches I'm seeing on the shelf. She said, no matches here. No matches here. She was, you know? And then I said, yes. This God is true. This Jesus Christ they preach is true. He exists. I have prayed that, Lord, may I be your presence carrier. Let my presence command peace and authority in Christ. And I saw it immediately. What? This woman has never panicked before anyone. She became panicked. When I take a step forward, she take a step backward into her, into her store. I take another step. She take another step backward. And the people drinking, the youths drinking, they looked at us and they, they look. People sitting in front of her shop drinking. They now looked, I saw few of them look back into her store. And those people tell this same woman, this witch of a woman, they told her that, Mad uh, Yalaje, is that not the matches? Give it to the man now. And they, there's no matches here, no matches here, no matches here, no matches here. He said, matches or sinibio, matches or sinibio. This language I'm speaking means no matches here, no matches here, no matches here. I saw, I knew that this lady was experiencing the fire, the presence of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. And then I left. I did not push any further to forcefully buy the matches. I have, I have experienced what I have requested from the Lord. And since that day, I know that Jesus Christ is Lord. Jesus Christ is God. He lives on till date. I was not hearing from the Lord then. I dreamed dreams then, but I was not at this height of faith in the Lord as I am now. It's a testimony. Sorry, I digress. So something happened this thing is last week here, last week here. I told you guys, this, I am not a prophet, but they said a prophet is not recognized in his village. Yes. Sorry, call came in. A prophet is not recognized in his village. My mother, since I've been saying the Lord said this, the Lord said that in our family, I, some believes me, some will not. But my mother speak for the first time. Early in the morning, I woke up last week. I think last week, um, Last week, Thursday, yeah, Thursday, I woke up in the morning. After my devotion and everything, I was seated in my living room, in the parlor, in the sitting room. I was about opening my phone, and the Lord spoke to me. Unimportant word, he said, send 20,000 naira to your mother. Before I will hear money, send money to your mother. But this one, I had it. 20,000 naira to your mother. I picked my phone immediately and I transferred the money to a POS point because my mother is old and not that educated. She cannot do things digitally. So I send the money to a POS point. And I called my bike man who normally took my children to school to pick the money from there and take it to my mother, 20,000 Naira. I obeyed immediately, instantly, I sent the money. I told you, on an important thing, I might not, I might say I will do it later and forget and regret. But this one is important. Holy Spirit told me, send 20,000 to your mother. He mentioned the amount, 20,000, and I have the money. I didn't mean as he spoke it, and I didn't have that money in my account. I would say it's not the Spirit of the Lord, but he knows I have it. So I sent the money to my mother. And my mother called that same, hallelujah, sorry. 
the video got caught. And my mother called me that same evening. Listing believers, I want you people to follow me. How I hear it on daily basis. I cannot say it all. I cannot even talk about today on. So I sent this money to my mother, this 20,000 naira to my mother, and she called me in the evening. When the, immediately I received the call, I know she wanted to tell me thank you. Immediately she said thank you. I said thank God. I said, Mother, I, after my money devotion, I was seated in the sitting room and the Spirit of the Lord spoke to me. I heard it clearly. Send 20,000 to your mother. That is why I send the money. My mother said, but I just sent her uh, 10,000 naira last week. I said, yes. I'm not supposed to send now, but the Spirit of the Lord told me I should send to you. Do you know what my mother said? And she began to glorify God. He said, hallelujah. He said, he said today, my mother told me that today, I know that God is speaking to you. <laughs> so I joke about it. I say, oh, now that I told you the Lord said I should send you money, now you are believing that the Lord speak to me. The Lord is speaking to me now. She said, no, 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 no. That she prayed in the morning. She was broke. She told me she was broke. She had no money. They do some expenses within the, she did some expenses within the house. She paid some debt and she was zero naira. She was zero, zero out of money. And she said she prayed this morning, that same morning to the Lord. My mother is also a believer, a woman who is fervent in prayers. Who doesn't, she doesn't, you always find her in a prayer house, my mother. We told her you are old, take it easy. When you fast, break 10 a.m. Don't even fast till 12 a.m. It's too much for you, you're an old woman. The Lord, sorry, the Lord will hear and answer you. The Lord understand you are too old to fast till 12 or to 3 or to 6 p.m. No, mother, break 10 a.m. But she will not agree. When she fasts, she break at 12 or 2 or 3 p.m. For the first time, my mother said, today I believe the Lord is speaking to you because she told me that she prayed in the morning telling the Lord, I don't have money. Please use any of my son to send me 20,000. I'm in need of 20,000. She mentioned the amount, the amount of money to the Lord. And when the Holy Ghost wants to speak to me, the Holy Ghost mentioned the same amount. And for the first time last week, for years, my mother said, today I believe the Lord is truly speaking to you. I didn't say a word. Within me, I just say hallelujah, hallelujah. I didn't say it out. And we end that conversation. Believers. Okay, let's talk about the area of giving. I was called into kingdom financing. I was prophesying. And 11 years ago, 12 years this year now, 12 years ago, we've been helping the needy. We don't give. I don't give anyhow. No. We give as directed by the Lord. Some people will approach us. We take it to the Lord in prayer. We help. There are some situations you will see. You don't need to take it to the Lord. Like the ones the Lord put in my heart. We bless on monthly basis. And then some. Okay. Let me give you this testimony. In the, in the last December. The last Sunday of December. I was seated in a church. The program was going on. The man of God was giving the sermon, preaching. And the Spirit of the Lord told me, go outside. I had it. I should go outside the church. Close my Bible. And I, I walked out. I obeyed. And the Spirit of the Lord took me. Spirit of the Lord took I walked out. And the Spirit of the Lord took me. I, I walked. He directed me. I walked backward outside the church to the altar area outside. And then my eyes, the Lord, my, the Lord took my eyes. I look upward to the children department. We have um, uncompleted building for the children church department. It's on an uncompleted building. And the Lord took my eyes. I look up to that church. And at the middle of the roof, that house, that building has been roofed, but not completed. No windows, no doors. It's unfinished. It's not even plastered. It's not even plastered like this. It's not a plastered wall like this. And the Lord took my eyes up and I saw on the roof, the zinc of that uncompleted building, a giant vulture, vulture, very big, seated right at the center of the roof of the children's church. And I speak the word, fire of the Holy Ghost upon your feet. 
you this demonic vulture, fire of the Holy Ghost upon your feet. Because it is rare. It's a bad omen here in Nigeria. We don't see vulture in our community. There are no slaughterhouses around. Where did vulture came from? Just one vulture. Big one seated on, on the roof of a church, children department, attached to the main church. So the Spirit of the Lord gave me that prayer point. I said, fire of the Holy Ghost upon the feet of this vulture, this demonic vulture. And the vulture flew. Immediately I made that pronunciation. The vulture flew immediately. There is a brother, an usher, coming behind me. He is also just sending prayers. You know, here is, here is Africa, <laughs> not the Western world. When you see some things, we know is a bad omen here in Africa. Believers, and the giant vulture flew after I speak that word, that fire of the Holy Ghost upon the feet of this vulture. I was down very far. The roof was high. It's a story building. The bed flew, and the Lord permitted my eye to focus on the children department building and he said buy the windows he said i should i should fix the windows it has no window and not completed this is it's under construction the lord said i should fix the windows for the church and i said yes lord and i went back to the church that is what the spirit of the lord told me to go outside for and i went back inside and after the church church service i went home and i was telling the lord as i was driving home with my family I told the Lord, I checked um, the, uh, our portfolio, the ministry portfolio, and we don't have up to that amount. But I took a step of faith. I call on engineers who are in charge of um, aluminum doors, aluminum and glass door. We call them aluminum engineers here in, in, in my country, in Nigeria. And they gave me, I told them to give me a quotation. I took quotations from two different um, engineering company for windows. Somebody gave me 700,000 700, plus. I can't remember now. And somebody gave 600,000 plus. And I took it to the Lord in prayer. I don't have up to this amount. Lord, you have spoken to me. And I obeyed. This is the quotation. I laid before your feet, believers, after these prayers. I said, Lord, provide the means for me to support the church as you have com commanded me. I did not ask anybody here on YouTube. I didn't make any video. I need a help for us to put a window. There are 14, 14 windows, four by four feet. Each, each window, four by four feet. 14 windows, 700, and I think 760 something thousand naira. Close to a million. I don't have that kind of money in the ministry portfolio. Even my own personal money, I, I, I don't have. When I take it to the Lord in prayer, I didn't ask anybody here on YouTube. I didn't ask anybody physically. I told the Lord, provide. You have commanded me. You have spoken to me, provide. And lo and behold, a brother, a brother supported my ministry. Even online here, this brother will watch this video. I will not mention him. I didn't ask him. I did not put a video generally for everybody. This brother sent me USDT. What? $486. I think maybe it should be $500 worth of USDT sent, but due to charges. And another sister here, she will watch this video. Another sister here, send me BNB. I will not mention name. Another sister, a sister in Christ who is partnering with my ministry, send me BNB. Another sister, send me Excellent. And lo and behold, I contracted the job out and we got the church windows we, we 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 contracted it out they built it and it's under construction now how the money came i did not ask any human being but i asked the lord the lord who spoke to me i asked him and people from different parts of this world i don't know how the lord touches their benevol their hearts and they become benevolent enough they are on their own and they send money Supporting the ministry the Lord has placed in my hand. Believers tell me, if it is not the Lord who speak, how come I did not ask anybody for a dime? And people will be where they are, maybe in US, in Brazil, or in anywhere, and, and they supported me, and I got the instruction of the Lord done. So this same God will speak to me about cryptocurrency, even though there is delays, I have not seen, seen it manifest, and I will not believe this God, that when I pray on daily basis, I say, Lord, Father, perfect my day. As I go out, go with me. 
May everything I do today be orchestrated by the Holy Ghost. Every word that proceeded from my mouth, let it be by the leading of the Holy Ghost. Just perfect my day. Help me to stay out of sin. The grace to stay out of sin. Help me not to offend you and not to offend humanity. And I will pray and go out and this God will deal with me on daily basis and speak to me and I will see it come to pass. And I will not believe his word concerning cryptocurrency he gave me. Listing and listing good. The Lord, I had it yes, yesterday. This one was yesterday. XDC, $28. XDC, $28. The Lord has given me a price point before. Last year, I put it out. That was $68 last year. Yes, $68 or $64. Go to my videos. You will see it. The first price point the Lord gave to me for XDC was $68. Yesterday here, the Lord told me XDC will go to $28. And I begin to ask the Lord, this year, Lord, is it this year? And I didn't hear anything again. But I'm believing in the Lord that it is this year. He said XDC to $28. Sorry, a call came in. Yeah, the Lord spoke to me yesterday. Tuesday, today is Wednesday, yesterday, Tuesday. Tuesday, 30th. Uh, that XDC is going to $28. So believers. And he has confirmed to me today. He confirmed to me that double restoration ahead. I had it. Why didn't you keep the faith? I told you guys long ago on every cryptocurrency prophetic coin we have invested in if you see the price going down keep the faith hold on tight to your cryptocurrency portfolio yes hold on tight you will see the word of the lord come to pass it will happen suddenly he told me suddenly don't see this video as a repetition whatever i receive i have to put it out there to encourage some people who will because of the price point they are seeing now from November, December, we see little run, ups and down. Now the price are not, are not good. Prices of cryptocurrency now are not good. The Lord told me there will be a dip before the rise. I see people questioning me about Wikicard, about this, this, this Shiba Inu, about Luna Classic. Hold your bag. It will happen season by season, season by season. The Lord told me, more or less like a chain reaction. This coin will transfer world, boom. And within some short period, you see another one transfer world. He said it will happen suddenly. Why, don't let price point to cause disbelief. Disbelief that will lead to discouragement. And discouragement that will make you lost your, make you dump some coin. And you miss out. So believers, the Bible says, my sheep hear my voice and they follow. I know those here who will say, you are not hearing anything from the Lord. That is why this video is long. I have to tell you some few testimonies about what the Lord will deal with me on a daily basis. Is it on my work? We we're working recently at the site and I told the carpenter, create a new ladder that people will take concrete up on their head, they carry, the workers carry concrete on their head. I was the supervisor and I told them, I told the carpenter, create a new, the Lord told me that this ladder that they want to use, it will cause accident. So I told the carpenter, create a new ladder for the worker. He said, no, he says, he told me that the ladder is okay. And the workers confirmed to me that the ladder is okay. But I told them, no, this ladder will cause problem here today. I don't want any problem on my head. I don't want somebody to die here. The, the, I told them, the Lord said, I sh you should create new ladder. I am talking to the carpenter. But they disobeyed. And we as we started the work, the first person who took concrete, concrete mixture on his head, taking it up, the Lord helped him. He climbed the ladder successful, successfully up and discharged the concrete from the container. There are, you know, then he started coming down on the ladder. No more loads on his head and the ladder break. He fell, but to God be the glory, no injury. And I told them, the, I told you guys, the Lord told me, we well, should not use this ladder. I told the carpenter, you want to kiss somebody on my neck here, right? That was when he obeyed and go and create a new ladder for a new wooden, wooden ladder that we can use to take concrete up to the, to the building. 
How many can I count? A word is enough for the wise. The Lord told me for cryptocurrency. He spoke to me yesterday here. XDC, $28. The Lord has given me $64 last year. He showed me three figures. That is numbers. I don't know. Figures, numbers. Yeah. Okay, word, figure. Mm. Not alphabet. Figures. That is numbers. Three figures price for XDC. Four figures. But the first price point the Lord gave to me for XDC is $68 last year. Just yesterday here. Told me. $28. Hold your crypto portfolio and guard it jealously. Guard it jealously. I tell you. This year, you will be glad you endured till the end. Stop complaining. If you know you want to complain, stop buying. But the one, the crypto bag you are holding, be it Shiba Inu, be it XDC, XRP, be it Watspay, w, WTK, be it Globians, be it Luna Classic, Future AI, Wikicat, Digimon Rabbit, the Kingdom Coin, Prophet Joel talked about Billy Cat. I took it to the Lord in prayer. The Lord didn't, I didn't buy Billy Cat because I was waiting for confirmation, no confirmation till date. So I decided not to buy. Maybe it is not for me. Some people were asking me about Billy Cat. I heard about it. I watched the video. I took it to the Lord. The Lord didn't confirm it to me yet. So I didn't buy. I stay clear. Maybe it is not for me. That is how I act. I don't just hear things and run immediately. No. Whatever you hear from my mouth, Every utterance is from my mouth. You take it to the Lord in prayer. I think I'll put that video on how to hear from the Lord. I have done it several times last year. All we owe God is to wait patiently. The Lord told me sometimes last year that I should thank God I'm, I, I'm alive. I am alive. In this era, to witness the change trans transformation in the financial um, system, that maybe in 200 years to come, this kind of thing that want to happen, the wet transfer. The, nothing like this will happen in the next 200 years. I have many confirmation why I have my faith. Even if my crypto bag, as I saw it, or everything I'm holding go to $2 total, I am not shaking. For I know that the word of the Lord will surely come to pass. Yes. God bless you, my brothers and sisters in Christ. I hope I'm audible enough today. God bless you. God bless me. Keep the faith for this year. We shall be glad indeed and we shall rejoice. Yes, we shall rejoice and be glad indeed. So says the Lord. Shalom.